You are on the platform, and, and we've got into this issue, and I thought it was next... I thought it was this Tuesday. I can go out now. It's Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday week is the um, is the census, and quite a lot of buzz, hum, disquiet about a new uh, question on gender or gender identity. Um, we've just heard from Suzanne Levy from Speak Up for Women. I know there are a whole lot of other individuals, particularly online and on Twitter, who, who say that the question asks us to buy into an ideology that there is such some. Um, thing is gender identity and, and I gotta say I'm scratching my head as to why the question uh, you male or female doesn't become before the gender identity question also questions be asked is our stats if you refuse to answer this question going to default you to being male to the gender of male or female well joining us now to discuss all this is Jason Atwell from Statistics New Zealand Jason thank you for fronting up uh, and having a talk about this Kia ora, John. Nice to be on your show again. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Um, why, for a start, and for what reason, is Stats asking people what gender... Now, the question is, what gender do you identify with, right? So the question is, what is your gender? So, okay. Yep. okay. What is gender? So, so gender is how people identify themselves. Oh, so, so it's your gender identity. What is your gender identity? What do you identify as is actually the question, Jason? So the question is, what is your gender? But yeah, well, the, well, you're uh, male or female, and that would be the traditional way of identifying your gender, Jason, right? Well, that, that's how we used to do census in the past. Well, why have you changed half. it? Why have you changed it now? Because what we want to do is reflect New Zealand society, Aotearoa New Zealand, and what we found was when we did just say, are you male or female, that excluded a lot of people. How, that, how many people? What proportion, Jason? Well, that, this is this is the beauty of having these questions in this year's census, um, as you say, Tuesday week, but you can fill it in before then. Um, but but this is this is really the first opportunity that Stats NZ has or Aotearoa New Zealand So you has. actually don't know how many people you might have been excluding at all? Well, we don't because we've never had it in the okay. census before. But the real question is, it is what gender you, do you identify as? That's the question you're really answering. That's the, that's the, the, the information you're after. So why didn't you answer, ask it straight up like that? So we, ask, we do ask for sex at birth as well. So, you know, after, for, But uh, strangely enough, immediately after the gender question, not before. But that's okay. Like, if, if you're a cisgender person and your gender... Well, what is, is cisgender, Jason? Jason, Jason, what is cisgender? So, g gender is an identity, and we've done a lot of research, and we've done... Uh, we're, we're actually world-leading, but well, we have yeah, done... No, 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 what is cisgender? I just want you to answer that question, Jason. Gen <laughs> gender is, is how you see yourself. What and who is you cisgender, Jason? Oh, sorry, cisgender. Yeah, because you used the term, and I, I, I've got oh, no idea apologies. what you're talking about. Apologies, apologies. Cisgender is, so myself, I was born a male, and I... No, no, I'm not a, asking about you, I'm asking you, what is cisgender? Yeah, so cisgender is if your your sex and your gender identity are the same, as they've been the same through birth. Like cool. So cisgender is normal? Cisgender is the majority of the population. Yeah. Okay. Um, where does yeah. that term come from and who invented it? Good question. I don't know who invented it, but I know that we've done a lot of consultation on the sex and gender stance. We've been through a couple of rounds with, with lots with? and lots of people. Uh, with Rainbow Community, with the general Oh, hang on, hang well. on, hang on. You've been going with the Rainbow Community who are a minority yeah. community, right? What well, about the uh, cisgender community? And is this how do you define the rainbow yeah, the, community, Jason? That's a good question because you know that's not just one community; it's made up of lots no. of different individuals of different things. Like we all are, like all communities are. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to so, put so it. I'm going to put it to you in a broad sense that gender identity is an ideology. No, it's it's a scientific. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a classification and I'll put I'll put it to you that, that if you put yourself in, in someone else's shoes for the previous census I don't need to, I'm region, only in my shoes we excluded it. I'm right, only okay. in my shoes It's not, um, the census for me is not an empathetic em, em, uh, exercise, it's a legal requirement as a citizen of the country and I hope that the information I provide uh, provides a useful picture for policy makers and other people 
Why? Exactly why we're asking uh, those questions. Yeah, so why, it is really yeah. useful for policy makers because yeah. we know that that people from rainbow communities actually have often... Well, no, but you've already told me it's really hard to decide what a rainbow community is. No, I, no, you never let me finish the question. What, okay. I said, what I was trying to say was the rainbow community, LGBTQI plus community, is very diverse community and you can't just say... They're rainbow, they're not rainbow. Within that community, there's lots of different uh, characteristics, there's lots of different genders, there's lots of different... Well, the idea identities. of that community well, is in self a construct. I mean, there's not a cis community, there's not a straight community, there's not a blokes who go fly fishing community, is there, Jason? This is all, no, this is right. all woke right. constructs, basically. This is the beauty of Aotearoa New Zealand, Sean, that we're all individuals made up of different characteristics, and that's, that's something to celebrate, and we should be celebrating... Is it, all Jason? Parts. Jason, I... Jeez, you are going incredibly woke on me. I don't care if you celebrate <laughs> or not. You're a public servant. You're there to do a job. I'm here to ask you questions about the taxpayers' money I'm spending on you and your department to do your job properly. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you emote or whether or not you're going to spin me and tell me it's something to celebrate. Do, you, oh, do we understand that? Statisticians are humans too, Sean, but I think, you know, for me, it is census is about everybody okay. in our territory. Okay, so, so I want to ask, I think a large larger number of people than this amorphous, the, this rather ethereal rainbow community or anything else community, Jason, I think a lot of people are saying that they do not believe with the construct of gender identity. Uh, like, I don't agree with the construct of religion. So why do you not have an option for choose not to answer? So there, there is a religion question as well, so not to, not to try and yeah, follow yeah. you up. Yeah, and the, that, does yeah, the so religious question have an opt-out option? Yes, you can say if you why want to. Why doesn't the gender identity question have an opt-out option? So I think I think what the point that some people are missing is that it doesn't affect them. If you're if you're a male or a female and you're not part of the rainbow community, you can carry on, click through the buttons as you normally would, and carry on with your life. The thing is that if we don't have these questions, we exclude an important important part of the community. Who and says they're any more important or less important than anyone else? Everybody's important, and that's the, that's the reason why we need to include them because we need to reflect. Well, why are you including? Hang on, hang on. How does this question include them specifically, and is it designed to do so? Because in the past, when we've just had are you male or female, that excludes a lot of people. That well, no, no. But the truth is, either. there you can only be two things. There are only two sexes. You've only got two options for that. Well, that's not true, and it's... Whoa, it's tell me about the other sexes that there are. So there is a community called the intersex community which has uh, different sexual characteristics. They can be hormonal, they can be uh, physical, and that community... Well, um, so see, Jason, we are now going. off to cloud cuckoo land. Stephen Hawkins uh, spoke in Wellington last night. One of the leading humanists... In, uh, sorry, Richard Dawkins, one of the, the leading humanists and, and rational thinkers... There are only two, Jason. There are only two sexes. There are male, a male. There's you know male. There's X and Y, right? You get it. There's, there's indeterminate as well. And I, I don't. Uh, I, what you know, proportion of people are indeterminate? Because I can, can I can tell you statistically, it is absolutely minusculely tiny. We're going to find out after the census. Well, we're, we're, no, we're no, no. Really you're just so okay. Community. Why don't you have? I don't want to answer question uh, option for this. Like well, you do uh, for religion. So, hang on. So, what we want to do is try and include the rainbow community, right? So it is. In well, the I'm sorry. Of the I, I thought I thought you census. were actually doing a census to get statistics for useful information. I didn't realise exactly it was all right. about making a group of people feel good. It's it's actually for policy as well. So, as I said before, the rainbow okay, community... Okay, but my question it. simply is, Jason, why do you not have an opt-out for this question like you do for religion? So, so, Sean, you can still fill out the census just the way you want can to. Can you so answer you my question, Jason? Why so don't you have an opt-out option for the gender question the same way you do for religion? There is a prefer not to say... Uh, option, but what we want to do is encourage people to fill out the census, as many questions as they can. Then why do you have an opt-out for religion? Why do you have an opt-out for religion, Jason? Because some people don't have a religion. And some people don't have a gender. 
and choose not to buy into the ideology well, of having a gender, Jason. You just told me there are only two. There's actually more than two. There's no, 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 you're you getting confused, them. Jason, between the sex question and the gender question. I'm not confused about those questions. Are there um, more than two yeah. sexes? Yes, yes, because there's intersex. Okay, we're, we're way off to the races now, Jason. Let's con concentrate on the gender question. Gender identity is an ideological construct of recent, uh, of recent years. Um, you have an opt-out for the religion question, but not for the gender identity question. And you haven't really, to my mind, adequately explained why. So you will you male, default, you Pete? Will you default? Male, or you can pick another gender if you're not. The, the, thing that, the fact that we have another gender option... Yeah, but I can't... You don't take make, away you, from you, people you, identify yeah, as Why male don't you exercise the same... Give people the same options as they do for the religion question? So, you... How many options are there for religion, John? I don't know. So Tons, I would mean. You just told me that you believe there are only two options for gender. Those two options you no, can take, yeah, for right? sex, and there's another for one sex. for people. For, for sex, people who, Jason, for sex. So the sex at birth question, there are two options, male, female. Yeah. Then there's a follow-up question later on, which asks if you have a variation of sex characteristics, which is the one that we use yeah. to for the intersex population. Oh boy, it's, Jason. It's, it's, so, it's, so, it's, Jason, it's really are you going? If I if I don't that. answer the gender identity question, and you call it the gender question, it's a gender identity question. If I don't answer it, do you default me to my sex at birth answer? I imagine we probably would. Okay. Yeah, but it, but the thing is, like being able to include people doesn't mean you exclude the majority of the population. This is uh, the, it just this is means it's one bullshit, actually, Jason. That's the problem. Well, I disagree. Well, I, uh, well, that's my view, and, of course, I'm part of a community who thinks that. Um, all right, do you appreciate that some people aren't going to answer this? And, in fact, indeed, I've been told this morning, as I've got into this, that a number of people are simply not going to fill out the census because you've done this. Well, the, the census is really important for a number of things. Like you said before, policy development. Yeah. Um, it's, it's for where... And like you told stuff. me, it's making certain people uses. feel good. Yeah. No, it's, it's not about not making them feel good. It's about making sure everybody's included so that everybody fills it out because the census is so important that we want as many people as possible. So if you're turned off on the first question, um, maybe it says, is your name Sean? And then it says, no, we don't like Sean's. And okay. then you're not going to continue. So right. we want to get as many people in the country as possible. We we recognise that in a modern society, we have a diverse society, and, and statistics reflect that. And census has, over the years, developed and evolved, yeah. as it should, to reflect New Zealand society. We no longer ask how many chickens there are per household. No. We no longer ask if there's idiots or morons in the house, because those are not socially acceptable terms anymore. But the fact is that census and all statistics evolve with the times and reflect the society we live in. Yeah, I, I, look, I'm not disagreeing with that. I think you've very well reflected some of the problems in society today. I do appreciate, though, that the information is important. We've found it hard during COVID to take reliable census. We've had all sorts of challenges with that. Yeah. Um, what is the normal compliance? What compliance would you accept, would you expect from the census this year? What are you hoping for? Response rates as high as possible. Like, you know, I, in an ideal world, everybody fills out a census. Um, that didn't quite happen last time. So, um, but we do have a number of options. So hopefully most New Zealanders already have a letter in their mailbox with yeah. their with their special codes. They can fill it online. If you want a paper copy, we can organise that too. Yeah. Um, and we'll have people around in the community to help fill them out okay. as well. How many people are your census? I mean, do you guys... $2,000 fine, I understand, on the books. Do you ever exercise that? We have done in the past, yep. Whoa. So, um, so uh, yeah, we can get prosecuted for not filling out a census, but our, but our model is, is we try and get we try and make it as easy as possible to fill out yeah. the census. We give people an opportunity. We explain why it's important. And, you know, it is yeah. a, I think you mentioned before, it's a civic yeah. duty. So Do you, ex you, know, do you accept... That your woke ideological question on gender identity, and it really is, might actually 
make a whole lot of people not fill out the census at all, that you might have damaged the return you get because you want to make a group of people, particular people, feel good or feel included? I would hope that the majority of New Zealanders understand that we want to reflect society as it is. Um, and, you know, the, the questions that we've got just it reflect society. And this this is a group of people that has been underdone for so long, and it's actually, we're well behind. Are you, that's, that's kind of a judgmental call, Jason. Are you an anthropologist? I am not an anthropologist. Okay. All right, how do you know if you've made them feel happy and welcome? Are you going to have to then survey the, these communities to see if they're happy with the census? Uh, we don't do a happiness survey. We have a, a survey of general well-being called the General Social Survey. But I guess, again, it, it's, it's an opportunity for us to understand the size of the Rainbow community, the intersex community, and for those people to take part and... Um, yeah, but for everybody to take part, right? So just because they're taking part yeah. doesn't mean that others can't take part. We're not excluding yeah. anyone. And, yeah. and point, some would you know, say what your sex, your sexual practices is, that's kind of your business, isn't it? Oh, you don't have to answer that one. Um, the other thing is, though, that, you know, the, the census is completely confidential. You can fill it out online once you've hit send. Uh, no one in your, in your household will see what you've, what you've, you've done. Same with the paper form. You can do it in the paper form, chuck it in the envelope, and away you yeah. go. So yeah. it is completely confidential. The idea is that, you know, we, we, we protect the data. We're not, yeah. you know. Can I identify as an animal? Can I identify as an Apache attack helicopter if I want to in terms of my gender? The AH-64 Apache attack helicopter is, in fact, not a gender, Sean. So probably well, I can make it up and say it is because all this is made up. It's just silliness, Jason. What about animals? Can you identify as an animal if you're one of those Furby people? Do you allow for that? So we, so we actually have an animal census. It's called the Agriculture Production Census. Yeah. But, but this can one people the, identify the as animals as their sexuality and their gender? Well, do you know what? We've, we've had these sex and gender questions in our household surveys for quite some time now. What we've found is the majority of New Zealand is actually pretty sensible. We don't get uh, answers like that. Like People take it seriously, which is fantastic. All right. Look, Jason, thank you for coming on. Um, but we've got it clear. If you don't answer, you will be defaulted to your to your sex at birth um, answer, right? So, uh, again, I just encourage people to read the question. And no, no, I'm asking a specific question and just clarifying, if you do not answer the gender, gender identity question, you will be defaulted to your male-female sex at birth que- uh, response. You can, male and female are both... It's a simple question, Jason. (laughs) If you do not answer the gender identity question, will you, for the purposes of response, be defaulted by Stats New Zealand to your male-female answer? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question because... Well, why the hell not? Why do you think you're on here today? Because that's the question that everyone wants you to answer. Yeah, but I, yeah, well, so I'm sorry, but I, I don't actually know what the process will be. So instead, we just want to encourage people to answer the question, right? So if you're okay. a male, if your sex is male and your gender is well, male, I, I'm male sorry, without an time. answer for you on that, I think a lot of people would justifiably say, I'm not sure I want to take part in this because I don't know if you're going to default me to something I don't want to be involved with. I think it would have been easier, to be honest, Jason, if you've just said you can opt out of the gender identity question like you can on the religion question. But the first, first two options under gender are male and female, so there's, there's absolutely no No, no, they're reason. not. That's the would, sex would, question. Would, would Oh, okay. So no, it's no, a, that's the yeah. gender question. So the, so the question okay. number number three, what is your gender? Option yeah. one, male. Option yeah. two, female. Option three, another gender. So again, having yeah. another gender, having an option for someone who is not male or female... Yeah, but that's not... not gender and sex aren't the same. Jason, gender and sex are not the same thing. That's right. So there's also a sex at birth question which asks if you're male or female. So you essentially get asked twice. So there you go. Oh, what a waste, to re- what a waste of time. Them. Jason, I've got to say at the end of this, I understand why you're doing it. I understand why it's there, but I, I, I don't think you've done anything to assuage the concerns of people who are concerned about this, but I do wish you well on the census. It is important that we have information about our country, and I know it's a massive task you guys are undertaking, so I thank you for your time. That was Jason Atwell from Statistics New Zealand. 
Yeah. Gender and sex are not the same things. If you don't believe in gender, gender identity, like you don't believe in religion, why can't you opt out? And I'm still no clearer. He said, yes, you, you, won't, you will be defaulted. No, you won't be defaulted. It's all over the place. Sean, you badgered that guy from Statistics mercilessly trying to get him to answer your question. Well done. All journalists should do that and not allow the interviewee to dodge or change the question to one they want to answer. Regards, Jeff. Uh, Jesus, asked twice now. Uh, here's. Sean, they have changed the language to confuse people, all part of the larger narrative. But it's so important that these self-identity communities that don't really exist in reality feel good. And that's kind of what he said. We're just doing this to make people... I mean, the whole idea of the rainbow community... Jeez, I know a ton of gay people. Half the people I know are gay one way or the other, or you would say not straight. But they don't run around with a badge saying, I'm a member of this community. I've never been down at dinner with them or out for drinks. And, oh, there's a member of the community. Really interesting morning. So we had Suzanne Levy from Speak Up for Women on to talk, and really talking on behalf of a lot of people who are expressing concern about the new gender question in the census. And she asked me to find out, find out if the answer, if you don't want to answer, A, why is there no opt-out from that question, um, which is really what gender do you identify as, which buys into a whole philosophy, and it doesn't have a, an opt-out as the question about religion does. And then if you don't answer it, you just choose not to, would you be defaulted to your sex at birth or your sex question? And we got on a fellow from... Um, Stats New Zealand, old Jason, who gave it a crack. And I've got to say, what were the takeouts that... The only reason they put in the gender identity question was to make some people feel good and because it was woke. They would be defaulting to your sex rather than your gender and he was very concerned, uh, confused about what gender and sex were. I think he did say, didn't say, there, there were more than two sexes? He did say there were more than two sexes, Ben, didn't he? So I wondered what Suzanne Levy made of that interview and what she heard and if it has assuaged her fears about the census or heightened them. Suzanne, how are you again? What did you reckon? Well, not, not much, to be honest. I mean, firstly, they are doing gender by default. You only have to read any information yeah. on the census and on stats, and it is, it is not sex by default. It is, it is gender. Um, he, um, Jason just completely conflated sex and gender the whole way oh, through. Oh, all the way did, didn't um, he? And, he? He didn't get you it. You know, and, and the th but the thing is that the, the rest of you, well, not, not everyone in New Zealand will do the same, but the average person will because the gender question uses sex, sex terms. It yeah. uses male and female. Yeah. So it's, it's just built to confuse. Um, he, didn't, he didn't answer the question clearly about what will happen if you leave, the, leave that question blank. Yeah. Um, now... I, I know the answer to that question. I've done yeah. the people that I've had the information from. I stats themselves, and you know, they need to stats need to um, they need to issue some really clear guidance, especially now that they've been actually sending out the wrong guidance. I think they've got a bit of a PR nightmare on their hands, to be honest, because how are they going to get back to the people that they've told? Um, you know, yeah, I, I thought they, they he was that, all you know, over the place. Yeah, so... Like you know, uh, gender non-specific persons you're on. Yeah, they need to... Yes, but they need to issue something on Facebook, on Twitter, making it really, really clear what happens when you answer those questions or you don't answer those yeah. questions. Because, I mean, um, Speak Up for Women have done an article that basically outlines it all, and it's based on um, the information I've got. It's all from stats. It's yeah. from their... Um, the, I'm the, not the sure. Have we published that? Have you flicked that through to us? No, so? but I'll... Do that today, we'll get it up on the opinions piece, if you're, we're allowed, if you're yeah, offering. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's on our speakupforwoman.nz okay. website. All right. It's one of the articles on there. But, you can yeah, you can find it. It's called yeah. um, do, we, do We Really Count? Okay. And we um, will publish that interview, of course, uh, today too, the yeah, video. Yeah, no, that, that would be great. I, I think, I, I don't know, J Jason just... I'm sorry if I, too, if I got a little bit frustrated with him, but he really was ducking, diving, dodging, weaving. Well, uh, it's a question that they don't want to answer because the, the truth of it is, and if you read the consultation stuff, they, they, they say it very, very clearly that they, they are going to get a gender answer from every single person. Everyone will be either male, female or another. There is no room to be none or to object. 
Um, so you've got to quite... buy into the idea of gender identification rather mm. than just what sex you are. Yeah. Yes, I, yeah, get, exactly I, I right. now get, I understand having talked to you, talk to him, what the issue is here. And it, mm. <laughs> look, it's a kind of ideological one, isn't it, in, in some ways? But, it, but <coughs> principles oh, are important. Been, oh, principles are important. And it's, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a religious atheist and I'm a gender atheist. And um, I don't see why I should be recorded differently yeah. Yeah. across uh, those. So, you know, we, we're hoping to announce some sort of process for boycott um, and we've got to look into a few things obviously uh, yeah. um, and so you so, are yeah. planning to launch a call for a people to <coughs> boycott the census in the next week we, we're looking at it the, the thing is it's an individual decision so you know we can't yeah we, we can't sort of tell people what to do you know um, yeah. the we can sort of I, I think the best thing we can do is to make it really clear what happens um, in all the different scenarios, so people have the best advice. So if, if someone's thinking that they can just not answer the question and leave it blank, yeah. we want them to know that that, that has no real effect. Yeah. They you know it gets filled in for them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we want to uh, yeah we want to give people the information, but we would really like stacks to be giving them that information. Yeah, yeah well, they're uh, not. They seem know. incapable, Suzanne. I th yeah. Hey, I yeah, thank you I for mean, your time this morning. Yeah. Send us the article. And get yeah, back to us if you're uh, on this campaign. Thank you very much indeed. That is Suzanne Levy from Speak Up for Women. Uh, yeah, I am a bit concerned now. Would I take part in the boycott? Don't know. I'll have a think about it.